Hi there, my name is Liz and welcome to my channel where I share things home decor and just some general lifestyle. I'm so glad that you're here today. In today's video, I wanted to share an organizational project that I am so excited about. I just finally tackled cleaning out and organizing my closet, which was way overdue. So I wanted to kind of show you guys the process of how I got it cleaned out and organized and took it from a very, very hot mess closet into a functioning space now. So if you enjoy watching this video and you find it helpful, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button below to like the video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos just like this one. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so brace yourself. I am really about to expose my messy side here, but this is my closet. Um, as you can see, things have really just started to pile up in here, and that's completely my own fault, but to kind of get the ball rolling, I decided to just take literally everything out of the closet, empty it out completely, and kind of start fresh from there. So step one, obviously, was taking everything out. And to try to stay somewhat organized during this process, I generally kept clothes on the bed um, and shoes and bags and any boxes I just kept down on the floor. That just kind of helped me keep things a little bit organized or as organized as possible. It was really around this point towards the bottom where I started to really rediscover some old items that I had totally forgotten about and kind of got re-excited to rediscover them. Um, and Stella, of course, had to continually check in and I'm gonna say she supervised. So here is my closet completely cleaned out. As you guys can see, it's not a huge closet, but it's honestly probably one of the largest closets that I've ever had in any of my places here in DC. So I do really love it. And I love those little shelves that it has like, I guess more steps on the side, but I turned around and it was around this point where I was wondering what the heck I got myself into. My husband walked into the bedroom and saw this mountain of clothes on the bed and I'm pretty sure his jaw dropped. So once the closet was totally empty, I went in and cleaned it. I really just wiped it down to kind of get rid of some of the dust and dirt vacuumed. And then I did also go in with a magic eraser to get rid of the scuff marks on the walls. And as you can see, Stella loved to check in and help in this stage too. Once I worked up the courage, I finally got to folding everything and just going through all of my things. So there was a lot. It was a little overwhelming. But the things that I knew I wanted to keep, I folded into just like one large pile on the edge of my bed. And then I got a trash bag for trash. So anything that was just kind of like really used or ripped or anything like that, I threw in there or just honestly general trash. And then I also got a bag to throw some things that I was gonna thrift. So just things that like weren't really my style anymore. And if I did have anything that was a nicer piece of clothing in really good condition still, like I did still honestly have a lot of pieces of clothing with the tag still on, I went ahead and I put that in a box that I'm going to send to thread up for consignment. And any hanging clothes that I knew I was going to keep, I went ahead and put those back in the closet just to kind of get them out of the workspace here. As you can see, Stella wanted to keep me company throughout this whole process, which I definitely didn't mind because she's such a cute little mush and I did actually find some old tennis balls in my closet that I gave to her and she was a pretty happy dog for the rest of the day. Once I had gotten through most of the clothing that I had on my bed, it was time to tackle this huge pile on the floor of clothes and bags and random accessories. I think this is honestly the first time that I really went through all of my shoes to try them on, so that was definitely much needed. Um, and there were some that I ended up having to try on, like these little shoes to make sure that they still fit and they looked cute and everything. And in case you're wondering, those ones made the cut. I 
I did actually have a lot of like swimsuits and summery type things in this pile on the floor. I guess I hadn't really fully unpacked since this past summer and whenever we got home from our honeymoon. And I did end up just utilizing some underbed storage for my more seasonal items. So those summery items like cover-ups and swimsuits and then also my more wintry items, um, mostly like my big blanket scarves and some gloves. I just have some underbed storage things from Amazon and I'm happy to link those in the description down below. And yes, I did have to vacuum out some fluff balls um, from these pairs of shoes that were definitely in the very bottom of my closet for too long. So here are the shoes that made it to the end. I know it still looks like a lot, um, or so my husband told me, but I did actually get rid of quite a lot of pairs of shoes. And here is the rest of the pile of things that made the final cut, including little Stella. So here's how things were looking at that point. The only thing I really had organized were my hanging clothes and I kept long dresses all the way on the left into short dresses and then tops and then some jackets. And then once I had figured out what to do with my shoe storage, here is the final product with everything hung up and all of my top shelving organized and put together and folded. So on my top shelf, I have my sweatshirts, denim, and sweaters all folded there. And then in the basket, there are my shorts and skirts. I got these two hanging shoe organizers from Ikea and they really took advantage of this space that I had on the side. They're really great because now my shoes are not just on a pile on the floor um, and it just makes a huge difference to have that there. I kept my luggage in the bottom there and I kind of covered it with my clothes and then my purses are down on the floor on those little steps on the side. Overall, I am just so happy with how this turned out and that I actually have a functional organized closet now and I actually know where all of my things are. So I know that this isn't like one of those super aesthetic closets, um, but I did end up using just a lot of things that I had on hand and it really still transformed the space for me. I just think it's really important to show that you don't need to go spend hundreds of dollars on organizational bins and products in order to have a really functional space in your own house. And I think that this is definitely a huge improvement over where it started and I'm very happy with it and I'd love to hear what you guys think in a comment down below so definitely let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of how I cleaned out and organized my closet and took it from a very unorganized mess to a organized, clean, and functional closet finally. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button below to like the video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos. I will be posting twice a week, every week, so make sure to stick around. I hope to see you guys next time.